Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today's video we're playing some more randomized roguelands on the new 1.0.9 update as Gage the Macromancer. Now we still don't know what exactly the 1.0.9 update brang to the game of a couple days ago, but I figure the more we play it, the more we will uh, the higher the chances are that we come across something new and unexpected. So let's just keep our eyes open for something that we haven't seen before. And maybe it could be lore focused. If it's if it's something in the lore that I have never once paid attention to, then you know I'll probably be missing out on that. But either way, let's keep it moving and grooving. Collect all this gear, and then let's see what our randomized skills are going to be. Oh, while wow, Death Trap is active, kills by made by Death Trap or yourself uh, grant you both a stacking melee damage bonus. Let's go ahead and grab that. I also see anarchy. I also see money shot. All we need is boar, and we go to the absolute moon. No, no boar. That's okay. We do have Raving Retribution, which can be helpful. Interspersed Outbursts from the very beginning of the game can be good. Okay. Now all we need is a little bit of reload speed. Get a little bit of reload speed. We could go off to the races, but... Anarchy should be pretty popping. There's some reload speed here. I do want to get down to Money Shot. I think this middle skill tree will be the way for us. It's just that, what are we... What are we taking on the way down? I think Expertise. Give us some move speed while aiming. Then Better Half. Then Able. Then Grit. Then Asbestos. Then Money Shot. I think that's that's an absolutely fine way to get down this go tree. I don't think we have to overthink it. But we don't have to go there right away. I think what we can do is take Interspersed Outburst for now. Uh... Thing is this reload speed so far down this tree? Let's just go for expertise. Very nice. Okay, so for as far as our weapons, let's rock. Let's rock. Let's rock today. Let's rock this Hyperion shotgun. That should be good for stacking up anarchy. A launcher in slot four. Grossive damage weapon if we need it in slot three. And do we have anything fire that's somewhat decent? Yep, this is flat off. Barrel Mala one sniper. Let's go. Friendship Gulag. I'm very happy that I have this corrosive damage weapon. It's not going to stack up our anarchy very fast, but on this stage, we can stack our anarchy up um, to the cap of 150 right away. So that's probably what we're going to be going for here. Let's try to see if we can kill this guy. Wow, that Malawan has a crazy good fire rate. At least somebody's going to go for him instead of me. Yep. So our death trap is going to be out there for an extended period of time now because we got a really, really nice skill to keep him up and alive. Now, SMG damage is good. Oh, more SMG damage is good. The one thing I do want to do, so that I don't accidentally reload, is go to my key binds, and you know the drill. Let's go to reload weapon, and from star R to star, bada bing bada boom. Now, there's a mod that I've been trying to get to work for me, and it's the, oh, I have SMG gun damage. Let's just pop that on. Yeah. As I use this SMG, let's go. Oh, don't hit me. Thank you. I'm trying to get the slide mod to work so that I can slide around like you can in like other first person shooter games. That could be really cool. Now we're looking for a, the simplest shake up shotgun that we can find. Ooh, nice bandit launcher though. Grab that. Check. Oh, go ahead. Do your thing, homie. We'll get him death trap. I'm only at four stacks of anarchy, but with, with our build right now, I don't think we'll need any extra stacks of anarchy. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, go ahead, stand still. Nice. Good round. Let's grab this pressure plate in the... This pressure plate before we open up any chests, because we want to be able to stack our anarchy up to full if we can. Pick up shoddy. Yes! Good. Coach gun is good enough. Sick. Perfect. So, what we do now is we run over to this chest, and I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be having you guys sit through all this, but if you watch my anarchy stacks as I open up this chest, you will notice that I'm at 7 now. And now I'm at 8. And so I'm going to sit here, and you guys are going to go do your thing. I'm going to go do my thing. And I'll see you guys um, in a brief moment. Okay, so I've officially exhausted this map of all of its shotgun ammo resources, which got us up to 81 stacks of anarchy. Oh, maybe not. That should have gotten me a little bit. Yeah, let's go. Um, but I did manage to find a class mod that which increased my reload speed, which was nice. 
we're gonna go ahead and pump some damage into this laddie. And this should get us up to 88? 89. Okay, not bad. So let's go for our five points. And the better half. And one point cooking up trouble. That sounds good. Interspersed outburst sounds good too. Let's go with the better half. The extra fire rates. And now we can we can honestly go anything we want. I mean, SMGs are probably the best for now because we have that SMG bonus damage. Um, I don't necessarily need to stack up anarchy anymore. I think my anarchy is fine, especially because it gets reset after each after each stage. So let's just move on. Okay, air next is Badlands. There should be some skags. Should be fine. Got here, death trap. Me and you against the world here. Here we go. Let's see, what do we get? An Aegis. Another Aegis, okay. This SMG should be doing just fine for us. I don't ever really get a chance to use dull SMGs, so. It's at least basic ones. Here we go. But with the Anarchy damage, 99 stacks. Things are looking mighty fine. Okay. There's not going to be a way to stack up my anarchy past, uh, past 150 because I don't think I have the, the skill that lets me do it. In fact, I don't think I've ever gone it in the randomized roguelands yet. Oh, get, get rinsed. See you later. Get rinsed, my friend. We got all kinds of damage right now. All kinds of damage. And Death Trap's staying active for a long, long time. Now, Gage has been my most successful character in Roguelands by f uh, in Roguelands randomized by far. I think a big part of that is just how effective Death Trap is in the dragon fight. Just so powerful. Does his job extremely well, which is just tank. Just sit there and soak aggro. It's so good to the point with that. When he goes down, I most of the time just... Ooh. When he does go down, I most of the time just, just swap to a cooldown just to get him back up and running. There we go. There's some cooldown for you. So five more points. The better half. And now... I think we go able for a little bit of healing. What's up, buddy? Hit this pressure pad. Hopefully get a nice damage weapon here. The better half helps us stack up our anarchy a lot faster. Even with non non shotguns, the Hulk. Getting a lot of Aegises. Diamond Storm as shock SMG. Sure, should be good. Oh, bye. See you, Death Trap. Thanks for helping. Pop this. Let's see. Amp shields, singularities. Nope. Boom. Boom. Looking good here. Let's see. Sorry for gun damage. We'll take that. Weapon accuracy and reload speed. The better half of cooking up trouble. We have both those skills, which is super nice. Yeah, we definitely have got a strong gauge build here. I think that if we get the proper gear, this, this build definitely goes the distance. It's just about, can I play it out without dying? I think I can bad. Not bad at all. Go. Here we go. What's, and the death trap is super useful against power loaders. To get them to start swinging their fists. And when they start swinging their fists, then they, they don't deflect your bolts anymore. Here we go. Now I can go for my shock weapon to drain their shields. Not bad. This is really, really strong for the early game. Yep. Very sick. A long rider is a little bit better at stacking anarchy. Slightly, slightly more ammo efficient than my other weapon. So the next stage we have something slightly better. Um, we take the pistol max ammo. 
Just in case you pick up a big pistol that that chews up a lot of ammo. Alright, go grit. Ooh, not a bad launcher. Are you right there, trap? Oh, you're right there behind me. <laughs> Sup? Ooh, what do we got here? Nope. So if, right now, I think, honestly, this, this SMG gun relic this is exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, it's not elemental, but like it's it's definitely like second best. Something to buff up whatever kind of gun you that you have currently. It's always welcome. Let's see. Sor sorrowful reloads. Sorrowful gun damage is good. I'm liking where we're at. Getting that extra accuracy is super super nice. It counteracts some of the anarchy, the downsides of anarchy. Yeah. So my weapons, yeah, they do do a lot of damage, but they're also, like, at least somewhat... Ooh, a fire anarchist is good. They're at least somewhat... accurate as well. Alright, Southern Shelf should be... easy. Boom, boom, yeah. Alright, let's use this bad boy. Death Trap, get out of here. Yeah, basically get one shot. This thing's gonna be stacking up my... My anarchy pretty quick as well. And make sure I stay accurate. There we go. Climb up here. Oh, that dot's gonna be on me for a while. Corrosive dots are harmful. They hurt my feelings. Luckily, they don't hurt your shields or your health that badly, but... They do last the longest. So they have that, you know, that mental impact. Luckily, I've got reduced dots. Which is actually kind of a nuts skill to get. Just more things that are better for the dragon fight. Now, the one thing we want more than anything is probably a B shield. The B shield is going to allow us to take out those dragons pretty easily. Uh, pick up some blammo too. All right, let's go. Did I did I open up this chest down here? Nope. Because when Death Trap is there, soaking up all the damage from the boss. Uh, you can sit back with your B shield and just rinse crits with, you know, with that, with that anarchy, with that money shot, and maybe if, if you get a lady fist as well, we go even harder. Let's see, Corinthian. I guess reduce damage from corrosion could be good. Uh, let's go, boom, boom. Not bad damage. Trying to aim for those crits, but not quite getting there yet. Come on, go down. There. Would you get me? A bone shredder? I think that could be useful. It's not corrosive, but whoa, whoa, whoa the accuracy though, the accuracy. Gotta chill out for a second. Later. Thank you. Juke this shot. Oh, whoa. All right, Berth. Bring it on. Now we're talking damage right there. Get up and get up and personal on that, laddie. Gotta get real up close, though. Real close. There we go. Once you get to that, that second half of that mag. There we go. All enemies go down, and I heal back up. Not bad. Alright, so for our next five, let's go Grit. Asbestos. Now I have the... Now I have the Reflect Damage, or the, um... Less Dots. I didn't have it before. Okay, shoot that bad boy. We're definitely looking for a better shield and grenade, so... Perfect time to get some bottles. Crack a bottle. Watch your bottle. Let's see. Longbow Tesla. No thanks. Sticky Longbow Slag Transfusion with a 1.7 second fuse time. Thank you very much. We have our grenade of the future. Mm. All these shields have just ridiculous recharge delays. I don't want that. I want something with a short recharge delay, but... This is what it is. Let's roll out. 
Should be Scorch, right? Yeah, Scorch. Okay. Not bad. Death Trap, get out here. Thank you. As long as we can kill this guy on spider we should be fine. Let's just use this... Let's use this Bone Shredder. It eats up a lot of ammo, but it's going to do a big chunk of damage to these laddies. Just like that. Yeah, get him, Death Trap. Let's go. Okay. Let's move roll out. Bottom. We got a nice little SMG right here. Don't adaptive shields are okay. That one's nice. That's got a 1.82 recharge delay. We take that. I don't want to get hit by this barrel when it explodes. So let's get our distance, then blow it up. I wish I had close enough. I do not. So I gotta get real up close and personal with these lads. Here we go. Nice sniper rifle right there. Hey. Get off me. Ooh, green bonuses. Let's take that. Let's take that. Because this should be good enough to kill Scorch. Good enough to destroy my frames, but also good enough to kill Scorch. The way these transfusions work, they just... They are so good with that power-up. Yeah. That was easy. Let's see, a kitten is good, a heartbreaker is good, a grog nozzle, yes, okay. Got a lot of ways to heal ourselves now. Just super sick. Let's see, asbestos, now money shot, let's go. Now, let's just get this, let's get this grog nozzle inside our inventory, and it should never, ever leave. Where are you? There you are. And depending on what boss we get, is going to determine what we use. Oh, what is that? Hey, a nice little Hector's Paradise. Look at that. We're, we're starting to stack up weapons that'll be really, really good for, you know, Pyro P and such like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take this one. Good. This run's looking juicy. It's looking... I mean, if we get this win, this is my first ever back-to-back-to-back. I'm I'm two wins deep right now. And the other the other two wins were were not I, I wasn't getting like the most OP skills in the world. I was getting just a regular I think I increase our pistol mass am, max ammo. I was getting, you know, relatively simple skills. I didn't I didn't get money shot in those builds. Let's go ahead and increase launcher at this point. Let's roll out. It is Terramorphous. Okay. So. I probably want something that's fire damage. This Aegis should be fine. But we, we have we have Death Trap to tank up. And we also have a lot of transfusion grenades. We got 10 now. So 10 transfusion grenades. Transfusion grenades. Should keep us topped off here relatively nicely. that drunk effect as long as we don't get knocked off the edge we swapping back and forth to the grog and pray we get this drunk effect we don't get it uh, let's see how much damage we can do that's not bad And that, that anarchy damage is coming in clutch. Hey, stop bashing me. Once once this round's over, it goes away, so. Death Trap, I need you to go fight the boss, brother. You, you chilling over here doesn't do anything for me. Terramorphous is dying. Yeah, that one should be dead. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Down below half now. There we go. 
The more mana shots we can get, the better. Okay. Not bad. Oh, and I got the rock, guys. But hopefully with these mana shots, we should be able to kill them fast enough that the rock guys don't matter as much. Whoa, chill out, Mr. Rockies. One more mag. Oh, he's still alive. He juked. There we go. Round over. What did you drop for me? I need something. Oh, that's an... What is that? It's an interfacer. That's a nice weapon. It's very nice. And what do we get from here? Big Boom Blaster. I think a Big Boom Blaster could definitely be something good. If we get like a North Fleet or something like that. Yeah. Let's roll out. And that's why I pick up all, all those Aegises and things along the way. Really. That's that's why we do it. Okay. If nothing has changed the with the new update, there should be a Butt Stallion in here. Yep. Nothing has changed there. Six. We roll out. Roll out. We have a Hector's Paradise. That's probably going to be our primary weapon until we can stack up our Anarchy. Okay, well, that's a quad with a matching grip. And we have a weapon slot for it, so we take it. Very sick. This thing is beautiful. Ooh, a tortoise? <laughs> I don't think we're going to be taking a tortoise. <laughs> Not this time around, sorry. I do have, if you guys want to see a build with the largest possible shield, I think maybe in the entire game, uh, for at least for single player, um, I do have a, a video where I pull that off. Bad. It's, it's the call. It's, I think I call it the invincible run or something like that. It's one on zero. You can't miss it. You scroll back on my channel a little bit. Also, I've been trying to do a little bit more advocating for myself and the channel. If you guys want to see my videos early, um, you know, if you're, if you're binging them and you really you want to get see them early, you guys can become members on the channel. Not only do you get um, priority when I'm responding to the comments, because I can't respond to everybody, but members I always respond to. But you also get to see the videos early, which is pretty, pretty cool. I don't want to sit here and advertise myself the entire time, but I would be doing myself a disservice if I did not. Besides, YouTube it keeps telling me, hey, you know, you should probably be advertising yourself in the videos. All right, YouTube, fine, chill out. I'll do it. There we go. And when I'm when I do go to read the comments, yeah, the, the members they do get their own section. It's there's a section for latest comments and a section for latest member comments. Whoa, 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 back up. Thank you. Thirty-five stacks of anarchy round one. And we don't really have to worry about stacking anarchy that that much. Um, cap out my money shots. Now we got to decide which which direction we want to go. I think going this way is going to be better for us. Let's go interspersed outburst. We need, we need a better relic because right now all we have got is SMG relics. Best possible relic for me. Mm, I mean, I guess I could go the cooldown one, but death traps up basically all the time. But deputy's badge. <laughs> I was gonna say probably a deputy's badge and perfect. That's the best. A long rider is exceptional for stacking up my anarchy. Perfect. We get to the red spot. We'll be using that. Alrighty. What do we get from here? Diamond development. It, if it didn't have uh, times four consumption, I'd probably take that. But times four, it's just it's it is rough. It is rough on a Hyperion because it's just by the time that accuracy does get zoomed in there, you have to, you have to already be reloading. I do have Fill to the Brim, though. You know what? With Fill to the Brim, I think that thing could pop off. If we do end up getting someone like... some Someone like a, a, a Pyre Pete or a Cromer, actually might be wanting, w wishing that we had taken it while we could. Let's grab it. Okay. Let's roll out. The Rust Yards. Uh, maybe I should be taking to the brim especially with this quad but oh gosh death trap i need your help i'm gonna get you 
Later, homie. Interspersed outburst. Doing a bunch of damage. Holy cow. Interspersed outburst damage is ridiculous. It's my damage in general. It's just ridiculous. The squad goes insane. I think this shield is a little bit better. The, the, the delay isn't that much worse, and the capacity and the rate is better. So, let's take it. Not bad. Go to the brim will also help me with my money shot procking. Yeah. It might be worthwhile to get points into. The deputy's badge is a great get for me. What are we gonna get from this one though? Let's see. A lot of the seraphs. I mean, I don't think that. I don't think that stacking HP is really the way to go. Most of the time. So I think, as much as I want to go into this left side scope tree, I think fill to the brim, it's gonna be way way better for us. I can only still shoot it twice though. Mistakes were made. Do I have um? I have a magazine relic on side. Uh, I don't think I do have magazine size relics on this character. Well, that's okay. Live and learn. It'll be good for other types of weapons, like this bad boy right here. Plus, it gives me extra carry capacity, which of course is really, really strong. I almost forgot that I can grab a, uh, a pressure plate down here. Got what you got. Nothing that nothing's gonna be replacing what I got for now. I think the back to back to back might be in our future now. I mean, this quad is gonna get us through tier two and probably tier three pretty easily. And the Hector's Paradise can get us through Chrome Racks or Pirate Pete. The one boss is high that I'm worried about now is Hyperius, but let's see. A leather quad. This worse all around. Let's keep it moving. Minds of Avarice. Let's get ourselves a nice class mod here. Hopefully we can get ourselves a nice class mod. I mean, I like mine right now is really, really nice, but that's a Hornet. That's a twin Hornet. Well, Hyperus, you're gone now too, bro. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who I fight now. Everybody dies. Later. Later. Nope. I was ready for you this time. Yeah, go down. I mean, I won't, I, I won't lie to you. I felt a, a, a chill go up my entire body. But... Where's the ultimate badasses? How come whenever I'm not strong, the ultimate badasses don't show? But whenever I am strong... Wait, no. I got that backwards. When I'm not strong, they show... Here's one. There we go. Oh my gosh, you just got rinsed, brother. Go ahead. Show up, Mimic. I dare ya. I had to run, um, I think I, I named it the video of the battle of a lifetime where I spent, I don't know how long in this stage fighting those lads. Cooking up trouble is going to be really, really good. Getting the extra points into it. Sheriff's badge. Would you look at that? We are, we are just geared to the goose though. Cooldown rate is slightly better than the one I had before. No, Legendary Roboteer class mod now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Class mods. Reload speed and fire rates. The magazine size. The magazine size. What does this, what does this push my magazine size to? I can fire this four times. What if I just did this one? How many times can I fire it now? Three. I think, realistically, that this... Giant magazine size one. Allowing my allowing me to shoot the quad four times is gonna go pretty insane. As well as it's going to give me the max money shot bonus, which is 12 total rounds. That's a big a big mark to get. If you look at money shot, even though it says um minimum magazine size for a full bonus is 10. It's actually 12. It's what I've it's what I've heard, anyways. A shock Rogue. I think a shock Rogue is going to be really, really strong too. Let's go. We are we are definitely geared to the gills now. 
I don't think anyone's going to stand in their way. I feel very, very confident now. With a Hornet, Hector's Paradise, yeah. I feel very, very confident. Shoot this bad boy. Let's go ahead and just shoot up these barrels. I really do not want to die to, the, to these barrels. Let's back it up a little bit. Good. There we go. A little bit of money shot and interspersed outburst together in one go. It's fine. If you go down one time, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Why well, can sh I, can I can only shoot it three times. Oh, yeah. I mean, that it should be fine. Oh, Grit, thank you so much. Grit saving my life right there. Oh, man. My, my frames. I'm just doing too much carnage. Yeah, I'm doing too much carnage at this point. Uh, I need to swap to a launcher here. Come on, I'm so back. I'm so back. I'm so back. Don't don't play with my don't play with my feelings like that. Okay, let's gun this guy down with Hector's Paradise, and you're next, homie. How do I how can I kill this guy? Oh my gosh! Thank you, Grit. I'll go go for a swing. There we go. Toss a grenade out. There we go. Just rinse some. Welcome to the rinse factory. Yes. Legendary Necromancer class mod should be good enough. I'm almost out of blam mode with this bad boy. Yep. I'm, now I am. Let's go for a Hector's Paradise. Where'd you go? Not bad. That trap is now gone. But I have splash damage on this bad puppy, so I can go right through that guy's shield. Go down. That's pretty tanky, huh? Go for crits. I'm stacking up my anarchy, which is nice. I do not want to get caught, though. Let's put him down and then run for my life. Run for my life. Bam. Yeah. Decent rounds. Get five more points. I think the magazine size is nice. But the weapon accuracy is probably better especially because the skills it gives me yeah i'm out of ammo too what you give me agreed okay we got we have a pistol of each type now let's go for some points though let's go for picking up travel increasing my max health doesn't appeal to me it's a problem uh well, my shields are depleted. I can get increased fire rate with all gun types. Elemental empathy is good for healing. Getting down to the skill tree will give me headshot. It'll give me... Backup. Yeah, actually, backup sounds really good, actually. Hmm. More than the reload speed. I don't really... Got black screen there for a second. I think. Thing is, do or die is nice too, and I get I get I have grenade damage scaling with my Hector's Paradise. But the crit damage from headshot and backup is really nice too. Let's go for let's go down this tree. Let's get Raven Retribution. I mean, the odds of Raven Retribution actually doing something for me are so low, but just in case. If I am on fire and I'm, I'm about to die, it might save my life. Where's that tire? There. Right, let's shoot this last tire. That, the aim down sight speed is pretty interesting. Pow! It's like I'm playing with Sleight of Hand Pro and Golf Duty. Okay. Heading into the, the medium-sized boss in tier 2. Feeling, feeling confident. That stage was a little bit tricky, but still feeling confident. Just need to get myself to the dragons as fast as possible. Um, I don't think I can... I don't think I can work with that. Elemental resistance, though, is so much higher. Let's take it. 
Its capacity is better. The only thing we're losing is delay. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard of a fight, honestly. Get there with my quad. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. That was easy. Not bad. Yeah, this quad is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I'm almost out of blammo. Let's go ahead and grab this bad boy. Give me my ammo back if you could. If you would. Five stacks of interspersed outbursts means it's, it means I'm pretty much guaranteed to slag them. That crit damage is uh, out of this world. Yeah. Out of this world right now. All right, anything around me before I checked for those? Buy rate minus mag size. The class mods here can be good because this is Tiny Tina's zone. Just look around. Okay, wow, yeah, that quad actually pumped it. What do we get? Yellow jacket, don't think we need it. Aquitas, nope. Tinderbox, don't need it. Bibber, I don't have close enough though. Oh, a peak opener. Okay, let's take the peak opener. So you always take peak opener. Yeah, because it's good, bro. What do you want from me? Um, out of bubble gun. Now the grenade damage. Good. Now, what can we do to keep ourselves alive? Or do we want just the reload speed? You know what? Let's just go for reload speed. Let's go. We got a peak opener now. We got all kinds of weapons. All kinds. All right, now we definitely want to get our assault rifles maxed out. And a shotgun. And two pulls of the box. Oh, a plasma caster. Thanks, bro. How about a B shield? B shield for your lad. If I got the B shield, then we go to the moon. Hmm, that's double penetrating. Right there. Double penetrating. Okay, we are looking. Ah, man, I have never seen a run with this much loot. Realistically, I have not. So the quad got us here, but it's not gonna it's not gonna finish the day. Let's go for these weapons. Okay, what do we get? We knew we were gonna get Hyperus, like we knew it. It's we weren't we're not surprised here. We just we we knew going in that we were gonna get them, so. Oh why do I not have my sh my sheriff's badge out? Missing out on so much damage. Not bad at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't die now. I could probably go for a Hornet for for better overall damage, but... There we go. Double penetrating uncapped Herald. Okay, now we can go for some damage on the boss. The, this is... This is getting a little bit ridiculous now. Hyperus goes down. This is getting a little ridiculous now. Oh, now you're all gonna pay. Let's go. Wow. What's over here? Electric chair grenade. Hmm. Okay. Please, be, sh be shield mate. Dang it. Oh, a hoplite? No, no, no. Not, you're not getting me to use that. Not this time around. Oh, man. Yeah, that was an absolute just devastation of a of a Hyperus fight. Wow. All right, let's roll out. The de de Devil Penetrating Autocapped Herald's an absolute just... It's, it's a little bit redonkulous when it comes to damage, man. Holy cow. Okay, I think we might want to use our... our or quad again to stack up anarchy, but realistically, I don't think it's going to matter. This, I, I, usually I don't say it because did anything happen in the dragon fight, but I, I, I think this one's guaranteed. I'm going to say it right now. This one's guaranteed. You can, you can check the end of the video if you really want to check the duration of the video. If it's ending in two minutes, then I'll eat my words, but I, I, I really don't see how we're gonna die. I mean, 
of course, a blaster enemy or like a launcher enemy. But a game crash could end us as well. Shoot that for the gubs. I'm not going to use them, though. Some better adaptive shields. Again, our shield isn't really the best, but with this grab, we should be fine. I had to pause there for a sneeze, but now we roll. Okay, ready on blight. What do we use? I think we I think we probably want to use a quad. Let's just Let's just use this quad. Where did you go? I I need you back. Dox quad with a little bit of deputy's badge kicker. And now I have died here on basically an invincible run, and it's because of these lads right here. Do not let that glide blaster take me down. Help me, game. Help me. No! Not good. Goliath Blaster. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Okay, we got him. Oh my gosh, the Goliath Blasters are, are all over the place. They're all over the place. Not good. Where'd you go? Where are you going? Stop it. Stop running away. Not cool. No. He got evolved. Come back. Don't do this to me. No! <laughs> I can't believe it! I can't believe it. We were destined for greatness. That is the game spitting in my face right there. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya!